Survey revealed extraordinary details in 19 nearby galaxies. The FANGS survey collected near and mid infrared observations of 19 spiral galaxies from the James Webb Space Telescope. This data reveals many interesting details. For a long time, this dust hid many clusters of stars from astronomers when they observed the sky in visible light. Astronomers found a way out of this difficult situation. In their research, they relied on counts of the most massive objects visible in it, and then made certain assumptions as to how many smaller stars might accompany them. However, this is not an exact method. Near-infrared highlights the glow of stars, and old stars glow blue in it. Mid-infrared images of space reveal cosmic dust, especially the complex molecules it contains, known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Their presence in space is an important indicator of active star formation processes. Massive newborn stars, still shrouded in such dust, therefore appear bright red in infrared images from the JWST camera. Karen Sandstrom from the University of California, an astronomer participating in the PHANGS project, considers the current capabilities of the James Webb Telescope to be a breakthrough. Now we can start looking for real, young stellar objects embedded in dust and count them, she said happily. Presenting her team's research results at a recent meeting of the American Astronomical Society. A complete, inventory, of such previously unseen stars will help scientists better understand the entire life cycle and evolution of stars. It is the bright areas visible in infrared images from the JWST camera that are the most extremely invaluable from the point of view of science. However, even the seemingly inconspicuous, darker ones arouse curiosity. What are they? The outer layers of the exploding stars are thought to have plowed into thin gaseous regions between the stars, creating dark bubbles amid the glowing dust. These types of bubbles and filaments are distinguishable in web images at the smallest scales ever observed and tell us the entire story of the star formation and dying cycle. In the spiral galaxy NGC 628, for example, astronomers have identified over 1,700 such bubbles. What's more? It was discovered that a third of the larger ones also had smaller bubbles located along their edges. This is a sign that new star birth has been initiated there along dusty and bubbled walls of dust previously carved by older, dying stars. Stars are formed from gas, but they also release it into space and expel it when they die. So studying stars embedded in dust and the dusty gas present in galaxies gives astronomers a good insight into how this unusual feedback cycle works. Let's add that Webb is not the only powerful telescope that looks at these galaxies, but only the newest of them. Also available are their images recorded in visible and ultraviolet light from the Hubble Space Telescope and the European Southern Observatory's Multi-Mission Spectroscopic Telescope in Chile. Radio data for these galaxies comes from the ALMA network in Chile. New photos in full resolution can be seen on the PHANGS project website. Many fake Twitter accounts are there. New calculations. Twitter is one of the most popular social networking sites in the world. The number of accounts on the platform exceeds 1.3 billion, which in itself is hugely impressive. However, please note that not all of these accounts are active. 
Currently, approximately 238 million users regularly use Twitter and participate in discussions. It is worth noting, however, that the remaining accounts are not necessarily bots or fakes. Often, these are simply forgotten or abandoned profiles. Many people once signed up for a Twitter account due to the platform's popularity, but then changed their preferences or internet habits and stopped visiting the site. Why is this happening? This may be due to various factors, lack of time, finding other social media platforms that better suit their needs or simply losing interest in a given medium. This is an important distinction between empty and fake accounts. The former are created by real people who no longer use Twitter's services. This question bothers not only ordinary users, but also analysts. Although there are many different studies and results, most of them suggest that about 19% active Twitter accounts are bots. Bots are automatic programs created to perform specific actions on a social network. They can be used for both positive and negative purposes. Some bots can help automate certain processes or provide information about the latest news or weather. However, there are also bots used to spread spam or disinformation. Researchers are trying to carefully assess the number of these artificial Twitter accounts. But it is difficult to accurately estimate their number due to the varying methods of creating and hiding bots. However, data shows that this problem still exists and poses a challenge for social media platforms. It is important to remember that not all of these 19% active accounts indicate bad intentions or attempts at manipulation. Some of them may simply be automatic company profiles or accounts operating as part of a specific project. Has Elon Musk reduced the number of bots? This question may not have a clear answer. But one thing is certain. Acquiring purchased followers these days is much more expensive than it used to be. Twitter's internal analysts have access to accurate data and can assess the impact of various factors on the number of bots. Nevertheless, for us, ordinary users of a social networking site, it is difficult to determine. However, we can draw conclusions based on the available information. Over the last three years, prices for buying Twitter followers have increased as much as fivefold. This means a significant increase in the costs of creating artificial accounts. Therefore, it seems logical to assume that people involved in this type of activity now encounter greater difficulties in creating fake accounts. Twitter is undoubtedly one of the most popular social media platforms in the world. With over 1.3 billion user accounts, it is a place where information and trends spread at an alarming rate. But how many of these accounts are actual? This question worries both analysts and users themselves. The latest calculations show that approximately 19% active Twitter accounts may be bots. This means that almost a fifth of followers have auto-generated content and are not real people. This number could be even higher if not for the actions taken by Twitter to limit the number of artificial accounts.